The airport base stations are Apple's line of networking devices. Uh, they have the Express, which is just a wireless N router. They have the Extreme, which is a wireless AC router that supports time machine backups. And the Time Capsule, which is half router, half storage device if you want to back up your data. All three of them are currently being discontinued by Apple. We don't really know exactly why they are discontinuing it, but the writing's kind of been on the wall for the last few years. Um, they haven't updated the hardware in about five years, and earlier this year they started selling the Linksys VLOP mesh Wi-Fi system uh, in their stores and online, which is the first third-party router they've ever sold. Also, the new AX wireless standard's coming out next year, so if they really wanted to stay in the router game, they probably are going to have to develop new hardware anyway. You don't have to really worry because Apple said they'll still continue to support it with firmware updates for the next five years. Um, you actually can buy another one or you can buy one if you don't have one already um, because Apple's selling off the rest of their inventory right now. However, I wouldn't really recommend it because there's a lot of other better routers out there right now, um, especially with newer hardware, a lot more features um, for about the same price. If you want to replace the Express or the Extreme, you really can get any new wireless AC router out there. Um, a lot of the newer ones will have better features, faster speeds. Uh, you even can check out our best wireless router section, which will show you which ones worked best for us. Now the time capsule, that one was half router, half storage device. So you're going to have to figure out how you want to back up your data in the future. You could either use a regular external hard drive, which you can just plug into a Mac, or you can get a router that supports network storage. Uh, Seagate and Western Digital are two pretty good options for this. Then, um, if you're a little more technically savvy, you can try a NAS device. These have a lot more features, are a little more complicated, a little bit more expensive. Uh, Synology is a great brand to try. They have a lot of options for you. And if you really like the remote access feature, uh, some of the regular solid state drives and hard drives will come with software that will allow you to do that.